And uh, welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at different hardness tests machines and the methods of testing the hardness and who's going to benefit from them. So let's dive in. So before we get started, let's have a look to see who this video is really for. Now, if you're a manufacturer or in the quality control or metallurgist, or you know, if you're running an inspection lab, you really need to understand what hardness is all about such that you can analyze and understand what material you're working with. If that's describing you, then you really need to carry on watching this video. So let's start having a look at the hardness test machines. Here's a quick overview of the machines themselves. So the hardness testers are equipment used to measure the hardness of a substance. These tools can be categorized as either non-destructive or destructive. There are numerous types of hardness testers such as the Rockwell, Brunel, Vickers hardness testers amongst others. Now each employs a unique method for measuring hardness and is best suited for specific materials and applications. In other words, is it a hard material or is it a soft material? Now, hardness tests are extensively used in manufacturing, aerospace, the automotive industry to ensure that the quality and longevity of products and materials. Now, where are hardness testers used? Now, hardness test machines are primarily used in test labs, but they can also be used in production facilities on site and indeed within a production line itself if required. In test labs, hardness testers are used to evaluate the properties of materials and ensure they meet industrial standards and regulations. In production facilities, hardness testing devices can be used to examine incoming raw materials, intermediate products, and completed goods. This enables producers to ensure the quality of their materials and products, as well as to detect and resolve any difficulties early in the production process. You can see a quick example here of a bit of a test lab going on. Now let's have a look at some of the industries that uh, can benefit from actually using the hardest tester. Now checking the hardness of products produced and made by numerous industries and corporations would be advantageous. Some instances include the following. Manufacturing industries, which we've already sort of mentioned, but you know, we're looking at companies that design and manufacture products such as automotive parts, machinery, tools and consumer goods. Construction industry. Companies that produce construction materials such as concrete, ceramic and glass, believe it or not. In this next slide, you can see a typical reinforced concrete slab. Now, this has to be at the right hardness in order for it to do its job. Medical industry is another one that comes to mind. Now, companies that produce medical devices such as orthopedic implants and surgical instruments. Aerospace is another obvious one at the top of the list. The aerospace industry also benefits from the hardness testing as it is used to evaluate the properties of materials used in aircraft and aerospace components. As you can imagine, super critical. And again, we're looking at gear sets as being the obvious product here that clearly needs hardness testing to evaluate the properties of the finished goods. Other areas include research and development. Now, universities and research institutes also use hardness testing for materials development, testing and research. This is where we can benefit from some of their research because they're releasing white papers and us as designers are able to tap into that resource. Now, overall, many industries and companies use hardness testing to ensure that their products meet safety and quality standards and to aid in the design and the development of new products, which I just mentioned. 
So we've had a look at the various different industries that are going to benefit from using the hardness test. Let's have a look at some of the test types that we are able to tap into. Now there are several different types of hardness tester, each of which uses a specific method to measure hardness. Some of the most commonly used hardness testers include the following, Rockwell hardness testers. Now these use a diamond indenter to make a small indentation in the material and then measures the depth of that indentation. It is used to test materials such as metals, plastics and ceramics. The next one we're going to look at is the Brunel hardness tester. Now this uses a steel or tungsten carbide ball indenter to make an indentation in the material and it then measures the diameter of the indentation. It is used in materials such as cast iron, steel and aluminum. On the left here we've got uh, an image or a photograph of a Rockwell hardness tester. The Brunel hardness test on the right, it, it, it looks similar, but uh, like we said, these are definitely different applications and different indentation tips being used. Just for fun, here's the Rockwell hardness and the Brunel hardness from the 1930s. These were photographs actually taken in the Toyota Museum in Japan. Now let's carry on looking at the different types of testers. Let's uh, look at the Vickers hardness tester. Now this again uses a diamond indenter to make a small indentation in the material and then it's measured the diagonal of that indentation. It is used to test materials such as metal ceramics and polymers. Now the Shaw or the Durometer hardness tester is a form of hardness tester that indents the material with a spring-loaded steel pin and measures the depth of the indentation. It is used to determine the hardness of non-metallic substances including rubber, plastic and other elastomers. In other words, anything that's soft. Again, we're looking at the Vickers hardness tester on the left-hand side. You can see the diamond indentation on the screen, which we're measuring there. And on the right-hand side, we've got the Shaw hardness tester. Now, now again, just for reference, these are the Vickers hardness tester and the Shaw hard testers from the 1930s. Again, these photographs were taken in the Toyota Museum in Japan. So a big difference between the two technologies from the 1930s and today. Look at that, look. Very good. All right, so who's going to benefit from the harness tests? Let's have a look at manufacturers, engineers, quality control professionals in various different industries, which we've already spoken about, would all benefit from using the harness testers to verify that the material they have selected is the correct hardness for the application. Now, overall, anyone who is responsible for specifying, selecting, or testing materials for use in production or equipment would benefit from using the hardness tests to ensure that the materials that they use are the correct hardness for the intended application. Now, if you're interested in getting any of your products tested, we have set up a specific test lab under the Sophie's company. If you want to find out more information about this, just contact us and we can help you. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sophist, and I shall see you in the next video.